I'm Peter Rosenholm. I'm from Rhode Island. Like all the others, we go through this every day. I'm at least 14 years now of being tortured. It's non-consensual human experimentation. It's remote. It's covert. It's hard to prove it a lot of times. Many of my attacks were microwave weapons. Medusa is one. In all the hospital statements when I was hospitalized, I told of being hit by radiation weapons, that I could hear voices. Medusa now admits to all those capabilities. I'm also in the Naval War College's Congressional District, and I've got falsely diagnosed, drugged. I've pretty much proven all that wrong. I'm off all the medication, but I'm still tortured. It goes on every day, and it goes on every day for all these people. What I would like is for us to have a participation on your committee, for someone from our group to actually participate. I'm wondering if that's possible. Because we're the victims. We're like the Guatemalans who are tortured. Is there a chance that that can happen? Did you hear me? Is there a chance that a group or an individual from us can be on the committee? We're constituted by the President as a commission and have you are, we have public comment and you can write us and we will read everything you give us. Right. It's the President who, President Obama appoints the commission. The other thing we deal with is like a COINTELPRO attack. Law enforcement attacks us, discredits us. We'll put us in a mental hospital if we try too hard. These people all don't want to go to doctors. The Patriot Act has provisions where doctors have to follow what they say. So a lot of these people aren't getting their teeth fixed, aren't going for medical care. We're in a bad situation. Amy, I love your question of us to try to figure out what the big problem is, to really analyze and get to the root of it. And I thought at first it was containment, which leads to things like false flags to confuse people. It leads to harassing people to discredit them, disable them, the TIs, that is, the victims. It leads to possible corruption, the secrecy, possible fear of going to prison on the people that are, on the part of the people that are executing these things. And then I realized underneath the containment, the secrecy-containment umbrella, is a really glaring inability of the U.S. to ever apologize for anything. To be able to just say, I'm sorry, the rest of the world is waiting for us to say, I'm sorry, or I admit to something, I have flaws, everyone does. And when it, contrary to the Pentagon myth that you can, should not do that to be strong, contrary to that myth, it makes a person stronger. Therefore, it will also make a country stronger. Other countries would very much appreciate it. Say, you know, I'm sorry, two seconds of silence, and then we can go on with life. Thank you very much. My name is Sina Ryan. I am an Iranian-American. I've been living here since 1976. To answer the question to the chair lady that it is still going to happen or is still going on, I will assure you that it is still experimentation going on and one of the lives standing right here. I strongly believe that I have been targeted for the experimentation of a brain research since September 2008. We have my consent. They are controlling my mind and using electronic remote control device to send instruction to send instruction. In the past two and a half years, I have been subjected to constant electric shock, a sleep disturbance, a sleep deprivation, short thoughts 
so we localize pain in my very uh, into various part of my body, telephone and bell rings in my ears, heat waves through my body, horrifying dreams, creating sudden fear and worry and worries in my mind. They do these mostly when I am inside my apartment. But sometimes all this happens, some of this happens when I'm outside without I'm seeing anybody or any device. This experimentation are done to me without any touch or anything, any, any see anybody. This inhuman and painful method of torture include reading my, my, my thought and memories. Through this, they have, they have been able to control me and subject me to severe pain that I have been suffering for the past 29 months. My health has deteriorated during this time and I have no medical insurance to seek medical help. My life is in danger and I need your help from, from the government. I am, I am only asking them to stop this painful torture and leave me alone so I can go back to my life. Thank you. I've been enrolled in psychological experiments on the record since the age of 13 without my consent. I've spent many years recovering from experimental hypnosis, physical and biological testing that I've undergone during decades of tests conducted by government-funded doctors, corporate think tanks, and researchers. I've experienced tremendous loss and trauma over the years of subjection to non-consensual experimentation, which has been devastating to my life. The people conducting experiments and other human beings do not consider the horribly destructive ramifications that they are subjecting victims to. As a result, there is no rehabilitation after experiments. No consideration is given to the often severe psychological and physical trauma suffered by non-consensual test subjects almost continuously. Many victims, such as myself, are diagnosed with non-existent mental illnesses, and as a result, we are expected to take dangerous medications that we do not need. There's no way to seek justice for what we've endured, because in America, the land of the free, justice is not free. The experiments violate every right imaginable and offer no restitution whatsoever. If myself or any other victim approaches law enforcement, our government agencies were spurned and in some cases forcibly taken to mental institutions. I have not consented to be experimented on by any branch of the government, military, or members of the American Medical Association. The initial experiments unfolded from decisions that were made for me when I was a child at a time when I was unable to understand what I was being volunteered for or what the consequences would be. I deserve to be vindicated and released from these experiments immediately, as do all of us. Thank you. I'll do the best that I can while being hurt by a national defense weapon that our country built. I love our country, but I am in contact and have been with the chief of the Department of Defense Fraud, Waste, and Abuse Hotline. He's worked with me and my wife for two years, and he went to the Pentagon after we were air assaulted by a jet at 150 to 200 miles an hour, that being me and my wife. That's why my face is rebuilt, and she's at home taking care of 100 head of cattle with a brain tumor. I've had three removed. I guess my point would be this, is that I stood up to this program, and that would be the Joint Operations system that our country built with the non-lethal and less than lethal weapon system. And I'm the only one known in the world, besides the people that helped build this system, to have this actual pulse on camera and have caught it. And I would like to submit that disc, but I guess the one question I would have, it's okay, Eli, you don't have to beat me up for the microphone. The one question I would have is, First of all, I would like to submit this to you as promptly as possible and then ask each and every one of you that 90% of the people that approached you spoke the same way I am, scared, but also spoke. They're speaking of directed energy weapons. That was phased out with the non-lethal and less than lethal programs, and we all know that. Most of you do anyways. Would you please help save my life? Ma'am?
I please submit what you have, and we will do what we can. And, and your name? My name? Yes, ma'am. Is Dr. Amy Goodman. Dr. Amy Goodman, I'm going to submit that to you, and please. if I die from this, then I, I'm, I'm quite sure somebody else will look at the evidence. Thank you for your time. I'd like to thank the Commission for allowing uh, the public to address these issues. And it's been a, uh, a lot of information, and it's been very good and enlightening. And I see I'm in the right place to provide the information I have. And yes, uh, the Tuskegee experiments are still going on, and the Guatemala experiments are still going on. But they're going on because of the adv advances in the signals technology and in cognitive neural uh, neurological t technology and neurophysiological experimentation and research and advances in that technology is allowing these things to happen and creating a new class of vulnerabilities uh, for citizens who c cannot protect themselves against this. Okay, We provide citizens who are currently non-consensual victims of cognitive neuroscience and neurophysiological research and experimentation, which is enabled remotely through extreme low-frequency computer-to-brain entrainment technology. This technology exists and can be verified on subjects with a high degree of accuracy using current neural imaging technologies. Okay, this is an atrocity that go, has gone on for years, and like the Tuskegee experiments, is clearly within the scope of this commission. Okay, the validity of this case, if there's any doubt as to the validity of these claims, that this, commi this commission can conduct, this, can conduct its own independent investigation by using functional brain imaging techniques. Okay, we ask that the committee, just because of the existence of our organization, Freedom for Covert, Covert Harassment and Surveillance Alone, we have thousands of people who have contacted us claiming to be victims of this. The justification for uh, our, our existence is justification that you should develop, you should uh, investigate this, this uh, occurrence further, okay? We need tests to develop, to determine if a citizen has been harmed by a cognitive weapon. Uh, these are cognitive weapons that uh, somehow these people are being experimented on with. And just overall, we need to ban the unethical use of science and technology on all citizens for any form, uh, for any reason and in any form. Thank you.